Hello, here we have a small business. We know how many leads we generate and we know how many existing customers or clients we've got from the previous year. So if we generated 100 leads and had a 60% conversion rate, we'd end up with 60 new customers or clients. And if we had 300 from last year and we had an 80% retention rate, that would be 240. And if you add the two together, our total number of customers or clients is 300. And if we know on average they buy five times and spend 100 each time, then our revenue is 150,000. Our gross margin, which is basically how much we make on every item that we sell, whether it's a good or a service, is 55%. So our gross profit would be 82,500. And then we take up our overheads to get our bottom line profit. If we could just increase our conversion rate here, so forget about spending lots on marketing to generate new leads, just increase our conversion rate. And we can do that by having systems in place, which mean that we follow up properly. There's lots of ways of doing it, but there's about 20 different strategies for doing this. But effectively, it's all about following up properly. So if we could increase that from 60 to 66 percent and if we could increase our retention rate by 10 percent, which, again, there's lots of ways of doing this. Newsletters, regular offers, uh, what's called um, a customer reactivation offer. Lots of ways of doing that. So again, we'll increase our conversion rate by 10% and our customer retention rate by 10%. And we're not generating any new leads. That would mean that we'd now end up with 330 customers or clients instead of 300. We're also going to implement, again, a whole host of strategies to choose from to get people to buy more frequently on average. And all we're looking for is a 10% improvement from five up to five and a half times per year. Uh, and we're also going to get them to spend more each time. Again, several ways of doing that, which don't involve putting up your headline price. So you probably, I mean, it's more than likely you could put up your headline price and not lose a significant number of customers or clients. But forget that. We've got other ways of doing this so that we can increase our price, our average revenue by 10% to 110. Now, just doing those small, making those small improvements would get our revenue up from 150,000 to 199,000 which would take, oh, and we're going to also try and make small improvements to our gross margin. Now, we've already probably done most of that by increasing our average price because we're getting people to spend more each time. But we could also look at our variable costs, look at if there's any way of making savings on stock levels, on wastage, on how many suppliers we deal with, uh, on all the things we're subscribing to that we don't use. Lots of ways of looking at that. So let's get our gross margin up from 55 to 60. So I've rounded that off. That's not quite 10%, but keep it round number. Our gross profit would go from 82.5 to 119,000, which is a 45% increase. Now, bear in mind, if we had 40,000 of other overheads, like wages, salaries, rate, rents, et cetera, then our bottom line would go from, instead of 42,500, i.e. 82.5 minus the 40, it would go from 42.5 to... Um, what's that 79 so again your bottom line would double um you know so your gross profit's gone up by 50 percent. your bottom line profit would actually double so you can see that making a few small improvements across a few different variables which are all under your control so how many inquiries you convert how many customers you hold on to what are you doing about your cost levels uh, can you get people to spend more frequently and, sp and spend slightly more off uh, spend more each time all of those strategies add up to a huge difference to your bottom line. And you don't have to go out spending lots of marketing budget on generating new leads. And you don't even have to put up your headline prices if you're worried about losing customers to competitors. Although, again, you probably should. So lots of ways to increase your gross profit and then your bottom line without spending lots on generating new leads or without raising your headline prices. If you think that's interesting, have a look at businessroundtableuk.co.uk, which is where you can find out how if a small group of business owners meet on a monthly basis, they can help each other set more ambitious goals and make it much more likely that they'll achieve those goals because they hold each other accountable. Right. I hope you found that interesting and useful. Thanks very much for following.